If you are an accounting and finance professional who is looking to immigrate to Canada from any part of the world, then let me tell you that you can do that in 6 to 8 months. Yes, you can move to Canada within 6 to 8 months depending on various aspects which we are going to discuss in this video. Now, if you are on this channel for the first time or you're watching my video for the first time, then let me give you a quick introduction. I am Webhav, a Global Chartered Accountant and Canadian Immigration Consultant authorized by Government of Canada. In this video, we are going to look at two pathways through which accounting and finance professionals from across the globe can plan their career, education and immigration to Canada. Let's look at them. Pathway 1. Applying for permanent residency directly from your home country or country you are currently living and working in. Let's understand this with a small example. Let's say you are an Indian accountant currently working in UAE. Then you can apply for permanent residency from UAE. Another example, let's say you are an accountant from Sri Lanka who is currently living and working in Sri Lanka. Then you can apply for permanent residency from Sri Lanka. Now, in both of these cases or in any similar case like this, you can basically apply from your home country depending on various parameters which Canadian government has clearly defined. If you are not able to meet those parameters, then you will not be able to immigrate directly from your home country or any country you are currently working and living in. Now, obviously, there are minimum eligibility parameters, but even if you meet them, you might still not be able to immigrate under pathway 1. So, it becomes very important for you to plan the alternative which is pathway 2. The pathway 2 is about studying for your accounting designation or any finance designation or even any business management course in Canada, which is basically studying in Canada and applying for permanent residency from inside Canada. Let's take a pause and understand pathway 1 and pathway 2 through a practical example. Let's say you are an Indian accountant who is currently working and living in UAE. Now, as an Indian accountant currently working and living in UAE, you can apply for permanent residency directly from UAE itself. Now, if you're not able to meet the eligibility parameters or you're not able to pass the parameter defined by Canadian government at that moment because immigration policies keep on changing, then you can shift your strategy to pathway 2, which is basically studying something related to your accounting designation, finance designation, or maybe even a business management course in Canada. Under this pathway too, if you study something in Canada and you execute it really well, then you can move to Canada within 6 to 8 months. And that's what I meant when I started this video, that as an accounting and finance professional, if you are really looking to move to Canada within 6 to 8 months, then you should directly opt for pathway 2. Now, pathway 1 and pathway 2 has its own caveats and its own issues. but for you to decide which one is better for you, let me give you four decision-making factors so that you can make an informed decision. Factor 1. Your immigration chances. If your personal and professional profile is not ideal for you to immigrate through pathway 1, then you might want to explore pathway 2 for studying in Canada and then applying for permanent residency from inside Canada. Factor 2. Your long-term career goal. Both these pathways lead to the same career goal of you working and living in Canada. But if you observe factor 2 which is studying in Canada and it gives you a qualitative advantage of Canadian education. Factor 3 The Time Investment Under pathway 1, you might take 1 year to 2 years depending upon your personal and professional profile and even more than 2 years in certain cases. Also, you might lose points because of your age. Whereas in pathway 2, you can move between 6 to 8 months. So make your calls accordingly. Factor 4. The budget. You are going to evaluate the time and cost investment for both pathway 1 and pathway 2 because both these pathways have its own associated cost and time investment. So make sure that you pick the option that's ideal for your personal and professional profile. All this that we have discussed so far works differently in every case because everybody has their own unique concerns, career, education and immigration aspirations. So if you are an accounting and finance professional working and living in any part of the world and exploring to immigrate to Canada, feel free to drop us an email. We would be happy to have a one-on-one -on -one with you to help you plan better. This is Webhav, a global chartered accountant and Canadian immigration consultant.